Hey, La Perinos, I'm from Science and Science Talks here today. Uh, we don't actually have anything new. This is not an unboxing. Sorry, guys. Um, we're actually going to talk to you today about LARP arrows. So, Tom, if you want to come in a little bit closer. Um, basically, there's been a bunch of people asking why it is that various LARPs around Australia pretty much exclusively use the IDV engineering arrows, which are available from fine retailers, but specifically via Epic Armory. And, um, it's a pretty good reason for that, and we'll get into it in just a second. So there are two variants of the IDV arrow. They're both the same length, they both use the same shaft. There is the round heads, which are the ones that most of the games use, and then the flat heads. They actually do have construction differences, and the flat heads are actually made in such a way that you can put chalk dust in them. They're really more of an archery tag product, uh, whereas these are for combat-oriented LARPs and you know live-action battle games, that kind of thing. So. We have had a whole bunch of people messaging us and pointing out something that we know and we admit readily. IDV arrows are expensive. We totally, totally get that. And there's a reason for that. IDV arrows are actually made with safety in mind and also with the knowledge that you are going to have dozens, if not hundreds of people literally just running over, stamping on those arrows midfield once they've been dropped on the ground. So. First up, primary reason why IDV over some of the other brands. Uh, Tom, if you come in close and look at the head, you'll notice that this head is designed to actually be larger than my eye socket. That's a safety feature. Uh, I know how stupid this looks going. <laughs> uh, but the size of the head, honestly, that's the difference between getting a black eye and having to go to hospital to have your cornea stitched back on in microsurgery. So let's get down to a couple of the other brands that we've actually imported samples of. Um, so. Here I've got three brands. Uh, one of them is IDV. We've actually, as you can see, we've cut a whole bunch of these arrows in half using the bandsaw. So let's quickly start with the When IDV. we say we destructively test things, we do destructively test them. Oh yeah, Tom and I test stuff to break. So when we say like something's tough, it's because we've actually gone and broken one over each other's heads or something. Well, not each other's heads, but you know what I mean. Yeah, anyway, Tom, everything. if you want to come in nice and close here. Guys, this is what's inside an IDV arrow. You can see that it's actually got a three-stage uh, foam, I guess. We've got the outer skin. We've got a nice soft foam on the inside. There is a pocket in there of just air. That actually helps with expansion uh, and compression. And there is a, uh, a safety cap. Thank you. I need coffee. Uh, safety cap. And then there is a firmer layer of foam here as well. This is all basically to deal with the shock of just hitting a body at... I shouldn't do that with the half one. Uh, but even with the half one, it's still quite safe. And actually, you know what, like, let's just do a, a quick demonstration of the ground test. That one's cut in half, it's not quite the same. There's a whole one. Quick demonstration of the ground test. To give you guys some idea, I'm just shy of 100 kilo. If I'd done that with a regular arrow, that shaft would be gone. Okay, so uh, here is, uh, I'm just going to cover the brand name there because like, I don't want to shit talk other brands. I just want to point out why we don't use them here in Australia. So if we come in close, this is one from a Chinese manufacturer. Uh, they've done a pretty good job at simulating uh, the IDV arrows, but you'll notice there's no gas pocket here. And the foam itself is actually a fair bit denser. It's not three stage. That's the same piece of foam all the way around. So there's no difference in densities. And the... It doesn't really show up on camera, um, but if you were to press into this material here with your nail, you'd notice that the safety cap is not quite as solid. You can also see it's not quite as large. All right, and here is the other brand that we've recently gotten in. This is the one that uh, Calamacil are selling. Um, you can see they've actually imitated IDE very, very well. It's an outer skin that's fairly dense. There's a softer foam in there. There's the gas chamber um, and a safety cap. So the only real difference between the ones Calamacil are selling and the IDV ones are the IDV ones fletching is actually a separate part, whereas here it's part of the actual shaft. Um, so in terms of safety and durability, I would say that they actually are as safe as IDV in terms of you know getting hit, but we've noticed in the past, unfortunately I don't have another whole one of these arrows because standing on it, it did break. Uh, so the shafts just aren't as durable with the Calamacil from our experience of, well, literally stamping on them, which is probably a little bit more than what they're designed for. But as Tom mentioned earlier, we do like to destructively test. 
So guys, we would love to have other types of arrows available for you, honestly, um, but we have a policy here in store of if we don't like the product, if we don't think the product is good enough for us to use safely and effectively and continuously, then we generally don't sell them. So perhaps your game is harder hitting than the sort of games that we ourselves would like to play and you know our quality test doesn't stand up to your quality test, that's perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. We are trying to get product ranges uh, developed and imported for you guys. You know, if you've got a suggestion, let us know. Uh, but by and large, if it's something that we sell, it's something that we believe in, something that we trust, and if it's something that we're not selling, well... Generally there's why. a reason. Yes, as Tom says, generally there's a reason we don't sell something. All right. Guys, thank you so much for listening to Moran. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. We'll see you on the battlefield.